Hey everybody, Chachi Sanchez here, and in today's VKB unboxing highlight, we delicately unbox our new joysticks. <laughs> Windows gets an error. Everything good? We make useful preparations. Uh-huh, uh-huh, hex key. Oh, hex wrenches. So all these screwdrivers I got ready are completely worthless. We find a sex toy. Some sort of fetish ring of sorts. We figure out where the wires go. All right, well, I found out where this goes, clearly. We lied. No, I don't think that does go there. Just an episode of Chillin' with Chachi. With that being said, shh. Loud and clear. All right, beautiful. All right, so you guys can hear me. I think I have everything set up. I can see my chat. Okay, let me go turn this on here. I'm gonna keep my headset in my- ah! Oh no, I might have moved the camera. All right, I'm trying to keep my headset on. All right, here we go, guys. Let's do an unboxing VR citizen style. Where's my mouse? And green screen. All right. <laughs> yeah, 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 that looks good. That looks good, doesn't it? Let me walk back over here. Don't bump into the cameras. Do not mess up the cameras. This took way more time than it should have to set up, you guys. I want you all to know this, but uh, I think this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm like a little kid. Okay, so I need to pull up the stream on my headset so I can watch myself unbox my stuff. Oh, but yeah, what do you guys think about this little setup here? Okay, this, yeah, this took way too long. But it looks good, yeah? Like, it looks... I mean, I probably look like a giant because I haven't sized everything properly, but... Uh, I love this idea. This is a good idea. Okay. This is way cooler than a regular unboxing, right? This will be a good highlight on YouTube, you think? <sighs> okay, okay, so... We're using the mic, we're using the headset because it's VR Citizen. And also, it's the only microphone that's good quality that I have that I can kind of bring over here to the green screen area. So, perfectly on par and on cue. Now, I need to open these up, so I will need a knife and some other accoutrement. Let me go grab those real quick. <sighs> All right, so, first one up, whatever is in this box. Okay, so I'll probably open from the top here. And again, I have just enough room through my little nose slit, a little nice gap that I can see through, so I'm not completely blind doing this. It's actually at the perfect angle for me to kind of look forward and just go down with my eyes. All right, so let's... Got it. <sighs> Your claimer's full of trash anyways. Let me know, what do you guys think? <sighs> Fixed? Okay, cool. So, would you guys watch more unboxings and stuff like this? Do you think this is gonna make a good highlight? All right. I'll probably put this up on YouTube regardless. Let's get all this stuff opened, shall we? Okay. Uh, all right, all right. Boom, folks. All right, let's get to it.
We got the, uh, the, uh, whatever the advanced model is. It's got this extra speed trigger and some sort of other stuff. We got the good one, basically. All right, there's all that. Okay. These boxes are great. They're easy to open and you don't destroy them. Easy to get back closed. All right, so here is... Oh, okay. That's just a... All right, that's a base plate. That thing's heavy. Right. All right, there's that. Everything good? Okay, I don't think anything died. I think we're good. I get this cool uh, plastic separator. <laughs> All right, so cabling. Okay, so now we get to the nitty gritty here. This is gonna be a whole thing, isn't it, you guys? Yeah, there's a lot of screws in there. Okay, okay. So we put all this back, I guess. Okay. All right, so one at a time then. Might as well. Uh-huh. Okay, base plate, trigger. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Should be fairly straightforward, I imagine. All right, one. That thingy goes through there. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hex key. Oh, hex wrenches. So all these screwdrivers I got ready are completely worthless. All right, let's open her up. <sighs> this some sort of fetish ring of sorts okay we got all these different types of retention springs 30 20 so I guess this is just the retention power of them so we got a whole bunch of different springs here metal plate only mounting grip only these are all labeled baggies these are nice right there uh-huh uh-huh Wow a lot of screws okay Hex, we got a mini screwdriver, we got mini hex, we got this bad boy. Okay, so, let's see here. Uh, hat switch, okay. Wow, wow, there's a lot of stuff. Hello. There. SRG C1 button, this is the extra button. I have to do all this myself? Oh my lord. What have I gotten myself into? I think this is actually a switch to get it back to the regular mode. I'm pretty sure it comes with the extra things. Please don't tell me I have to install those. Play monkey. If it's the key ring with a string on it, some sort of fetish ring of sorts, that's the string puller. Um, what does that mean? What does that do? What, what is, what's, oh, spring puller. Oh, okay, 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 that makes sense. Okay, I gotcha. We've gotten ourselves into a bit of trouble today. Okay. Oh, there's a video tutorial. That's nice. It's not going to help us while we're streaming and have this specific setup to do this, huh? Okay, okay. This is pretty straightforward. Through the bottom. Uh huh, uh huh. Mm hmm. I know some of these words. Three hex key screws. And the base plate goes on. All right, all right. Hex key screws. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Grip mounting only. Okay, so that's got to be those. Yeah, because good luck stretching the tiny spring with... No, I have giant hands. You, it's not going to work. All right, you guys. I can reach like an octave and like two or three notes. It's kind of crazy. All right, so. First step, we have this. We got this little rubbery tube that we put around the cable that goes out of... Out of the um, uh, thingy. 
out of the joystick itself. So let's do that. Got some new joystick. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I feel like an old man having to take this on and off. I think I just passed this through. Yeah, we just passed this through, so. Am I, wait, what? How is that supposed to work? What does this plug into? All right, well, I found out where this goes, clearly. No, I don't think that does go there. So this little rubber grommet that we passed through, do we gotta like cut off the end of it? Or how am I supposed to get this little triple prong bit through here? Cause that is clearly not gonna fit. Oh, Hudson Hawk, dude, thank you so much for uh, resubscribing for three months, man. I appreciate it, buddy. Absolutely amazing. Hello, what are you doing? We are putting together our new joysticks. This might be a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. This piece are you wondering about? All right, so for right now, the first thing is this little rubber grommet that they want me to sleeve through the actual wire onto the joystick hub, right? So this clearly, this three prong thing will not fit through the little gap that they got on this. Let me show you guys. Like, am I supposed to cut that off or do I just gotta like, how is that supposed to fit? Push it to the point where it stops. You're only using it to feel the cable. So wait, well, that is not made apparent. I thought that that was okay. Well then shit, I could just feed. No, I can't feed that through. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Okay. This is a good idea. Now I see it. <laughs> All right. So we just pop that on then. All right. So we're just using it to feed it through. Okay. Oh, that plate slides around, doesn't it? Yeah, that would make sense. It is a joystick. Okay, Love so that. then we just pass that through there. I see what this is all for now. Okay, that does make sense. And then you just pop that off and then now you have a wire. Okay, that's what I was confused is that I thought you were supposed to pass it all the way through there. Okay, we got that. All right, so that is correct. Then we put the three Metal plate only, grip mounting only. These three hex screws on there. Boy, this is not a good day to have my thumb be cut from a mandolin kitchen accident. All right, that's going in nice and smoothly, it feels like. Getting a little bit tight. Don't want to get it too tight. So, how's everybody doing? Good, I hope. Hope everybody's getting everything they wanted for the holidays. But yeah, welcome, Mal. Glad you could drop by. Yeah, we're just hanging out, chilling, listening to music, and I am uh, building this. And then uh, tonight, if I can get the camera and stuff repositioned easily enough, then we're going to do one last night with the X52 Pro. We're going to check out the Master Modes and then uh, check out the Hornet. They got the Super Hornet in Master Modes. So, I guess so. I thought that these were assembled a bit more um, uh, complete, but they ship in really, really thin boxes. So that is handy. Like, think about how much bigger the boxes would be and how much more padding they'd have to do so they don't break. Like... I don't mind this. I, I, I don't mind this as long as it is easy, and it does seem to be easy. Problem is that it wants me to plug this now into a thing that clearly it doesn't look like it should go into. All right, those are screwed in. Does that go? I think it does, actually. There's a little wire hook in there. That's cool. That's nice. There we go. It's got its own separate wire channel for it. Okay, that's good. Yes, yes, yes. I was about to say, this is uh, how VR Citizen does um, uh, how we're going to try to do um, uh, unboxing and, I guess, builds from now on. I thought that I would just be unboxing and giving a review of this, but looks like we're doing this, you guys. So, welcome. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the show. All right, so metal plate only. Base plate with the hex key, four screws. Hello there. 
Just make sure you got enough slack on the cable when you move the stick. Don't want to pull the cable tight. Ah. Ah. That is it. That is a heavy plate, you guys. This is that. This is heavier than this. I will. Sh I will say that is a big metal plate. Okay, so yeah, looking for moving it around, up and down. To make sure I have enough slack. It's getting a little bit pulled on when I go to the right there. Okay, yeah, man, that feels good. I might need to replace the tension strings, but for right now, we'll keep them with stocks. So now the fire starts and the Reclaimer is Star Engine demo, I guess. Okay, Nomad. You know what? Hey, Wenches, how you doing, man? Hello. All right, so the inner sets of screw plates. Not too tight. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, that's taut. Oh, by the way, VR Week in Steam. Yes, yes, I saw that I posted on Steam. Everybody, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and it's still time, um, uh, probably not, though. It's from the, what, the 4th to the 11th, I think it was, so five days. VR sales all week long on Steam, so go check that out. It's going to be very, very cool. Okay, so how I did this, if everyone is, anyone's wondering... I got the camera angles, that's the guy that I used, that I, uh, you know, f forward and have the camera angles for. Spawned the Reclaimer, got him inside here, moved it, and then I got all that stuff set up, and I recorded like a two to five minute loop of the background footage. And then the table here that you see on the side camera is a screenshot, okay? So we got the background footage is a video, this is a screenshot, I got both of those angles and saved them for later. Then, I basically have this table that I have a uh, green screen uh, cloth over as you can see like this okay and so I just basically set the actual IRL cameras that I have on poles and on my desk and stuff that I can arrange specifically for this as you can see right here <sighs> I have those to where I can arrange it anywhere and uh, yeah now I this is the fruits of my labor I this took like three or four hours to actually set it because I wanted it to look really, really good. And there's a whole bunch of extra stuff I couldn't get done, like, on the window over here. I wanted to have, like, my stream playing, but I couldn't get the angle of the screen right, and I would, I would have to figure that out a separate time, you know. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to do a whole bunch of other things, like put a Pico on the table, and, uh, genius ca camera setup looks sick. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's, uh, let's keep rolling here. Oh, yes, I miss that feeling. Man, that is something. Yeah, that feels really, really good. That's nice and nice and tight. It's, it's springy. Oh. oh, you know what? I think I have the wrong things in. Yeah, yeah, we do, we do. Okay, whoops. All right, so this metal plate is actually the retainer plate, and I put the wrong hex screws in there. We might have messed this up. I hope that they're all the same thread size because that would be embarrassing. Oh dear. Uh oh. Okay, I don't think I stripped the screw. Oh god. That's <laughs> what you get for not being able to read. These are indeed a wider, thicker size, but I don't think it stripped or did anything bad. And if not, well, we weren't planning on using the limiter the lock plate installation x-axis lock plate huh right, those four go there it that's so stupid though because the screws it said were the long thin ones no no uh, i really should have put a profile picture of them because they have instead of a cylindrical head a cantered head go back to work have a great day hey thank you so much for dropping by Mal. i'll be here for a while <laughs> okay it's threading it's threading Okay, so that's good to know. If you accidentally install the X-axis lock plate screws on the base plate, it doesn't strip them. And that's just really good design, you know? Even though they're different thread sizes and shape, that just means they were thinking of you. Or more specifically, me, because they knew I was going to fuck that up. All right, let's get on the rest. Okay, that's much better. Those are much more flush against the metal. Hello there. 
However, there is a bit of give in the plate itself. So don't go completely flat yet. Get all four screws in almost all the way and then secure it. All right, nice, nice. Okay, okay. All right. Ah. Beautiful, and then we put the base plate, the X-lock plate back in there. Y-axis dampener screw, okay, okay. So they got dampener screws that I can access. All right, you guys, I think that's it. I think we're good. All of this stuff appears to be like resetting. So wait a minute, if I got the advanced key, if I got the super awesome one, do I have to install this crap? That's to revert it to the base, thank God. Okay, so yeah, that's the only instructions they gave me. <laughs> okay, so that's good. So then I think this is, keep taking on and off my glasses here. Then I think this is all ready to roll. We just need to pop in the, plug that in like that. And then yeah, that is ready to go guys. Oof. Man, that is fancy. I like it. I like it. I dig it. All right. Boom. One and done. So speaking of both of them, they are, it's two separate plugs, right? The X52, the throttle plugs into the joystick, and then the joystick goes into the computer. So this has two different plugs, one for each unit, I assume. My dime bags. All right, brilliant. That's one down. Number two. Aw. The Omni doesn't come in a cool little felt thingy. It just has little puffy box, little things. All right, so I guess we keep those. I guess they ran out of those little felt containers. Yeah. It's heavy again. It's got the base plate all right. You'll know for sure if you're missing your base plate. All right, same process as the first one, I can only assume. Okay, whoop. Now, the three retainer screws, mounting grip only. All right, it gets a little bit tight at the end, but as soon as it starts to slip on you, don't thread it any further, lest you strip it. <sighs> Hello there. Oh, dude, air cool, man. How you doing? I sent you a Discord message and one through Spectrum. Didn't know if you got them, but glad you could drop by, man. Yes, we got the VKBs. We got the Omni on the left and the advanced space stick on the right. And we're just going through the um, uh, initial setup process, which is a lot more than I thought it would be. But to be fair, have you seen how small these boxes are and how thin they can ship it? Just got off work. Ah, okay, cool, cool, man. Well, congrats, man. Glad you could be by. What do you think of the setup, though? This is our unboxing setup. If we're gonna install or fix or um, uh, do anything, we use this camera or this um, uh, screen. Love tensioning, dude. I am so excited for these things. Ever since I like got my hands on them at Citizen Con, I was like, "Yep, well, I need to do that sooner than later." And I am glad that not only I get to replace the X52 Pro, which is just getting more and more annoying the more and more I play with it, but also now I get to use the X52 Pro. Uh, as like camera controls, extra mining laser, like I get a whole extra set of stuff and buttons if I could figure out how to mount them onto my cockpit. And since I'm not using my desktop, since that's like a full-blown sim cockpit, I can throw as much crap on it as I want and it not get in the way because I play at my desktop, you know, normally. You know what day it is, Friday, right? Oh, but yeah, Eric, cool. Path of Exile. I'm gonna be rebuilding the cockpit probably all weekend 
Friday the new league starts, so I think we're going to use that as an excuse to play Path of Exile all weekend, and maybe for a little bit of next week. I'm going to be redoing everything with the uh, seat and flight sim cockpit stuff, so I mean, you know, why the hell not? Let's play Path of Exile at the desktop. As if the moons aligned and all the planets and stars said yes. In fact, that's what you should probably do. Oh, I can't wait. Two sticks are VKB, but I still use Verpal for my normal flight sim throttle. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think that is it. We just got to do the calibration and initialization but that's going to be a different time because I'm going to rebuild the whole chair and get all that done a different day but for right now oh yeah I am so excited you guys see that right there this right here, the up and down, the up and down, up and down. Like left to right is good, you know, forward and backward, that's same old, same old. Left to right, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool, but this, this up to down. And the fact that, that it's not like, uh, like a biker, like it's a, like a, it's, it, it, it flaps up and down off of this axis. It's not a rotation thing, it's more of a, it feels good. It feels good, is what it is. It feels very good. Yeah, and then on top of that, I'll have my other, my old stuff that I'm gonna try to incorporate with extra buttons and levers for the whole setup, and uh, I, yeah, this is gonna be amazing. But uh, yeah, if this is uh, ends up as a uh, highlight on YouTube, uh, this is how you set up and install and build the uh, Gladiator. VKB set, the Omni on the left and the Advanced Space Throttle on the right, or Space Stick on the right. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for doing the voodoo that you do, and uh, till next time, as always, stay safe and fly right. Y'all have a good one.